This video shows you how to paint your bathroom in eggshell white. Little green is the brand and the intelligent eggshell is the finish. And so the little green brand should not be confused with the colour. The colour is eggshell white, OK? And why have I chosen to paint the bathroom in eggshell white? And that's because, you know, the initial colour that was here was, you know, the matte finish. And, you know, the eggshell provides more resistance to mould or steam in the bathroom. You can easily clean off, you know, dirt marks off the um, eggshell. It also reflects more light than the matte finish to produce, you know, a lower luster. And, you know, it also basically pulls out more of the paint colour than a flat sheen, which gives the room a softer glow. And so the overarching reason why I've chosen an eggshell finish is that it's, it's a lot more easier to maintain as opposed to, you know, having the matte finish here. And so the first step of the process would be to visually inspect, you know, all of the prep work for any cuts, any perforations in, you know, your films, okay? So that paint doesn't seep through the cuts that you've got, you know, in your, say, for example, your carpet protector or your polythene film, okay? And so first, in this scenario, I have covered, you know, the skirt in as I want to keep, you know, the paint on the skirt in. And also, you know, the roof or the ceiling, you know, I have, you know, run, you know, the frock tape around the perimeter of the ceiling because I want to keep, you know, the um, roof painting. You can use a bristle or synth synthetic um, brush, you know, to paint your wall. It doesn't really matter. Both will do the job. And also make sure that the areas where you do, you do not want paint to latch onto or to spill onto is um, protected, okay? And so the next step of the process would be to get some eggshell um, white paint into your tray roller. And then subsequently or painstakingly start to paint around the perimeter of your bathroom walls, okay? Paint all four corners. Repeat and reproduce the painting process on all painting areas of the bathroom wall. So suffice to say, paint all of your bathroom walls, you know, in eggshell white, excluding the roof in the first instance. And here you can see that most of the spills um, falls onto the brown paper or the polythene film as opposed to the vinyl carpet. And, you know, you can also see here that, you know, the um, paint falls onto the brown paper here as well. In this instance, the matte skin was done on the ceiling to protect the ceiling paint as I wanted to keep the ceiling paint. But as with any painting job, over time you, you can change your mind, okay? It's not set in stone. And so I've decided to um, paint the ceiling from matte white. I have decided to change it to eggshell white. And the implication of this is that the mask skin that was done initially to protect, you know, the ceiling paint will have to move or will have to change, as you can see here. So it's gone, you know, on the um, wall as opposed to being on the ceiling. And that means I, I can paint my ceiling, OK, with eggshell, OK, which is what's been done here. After painting around the corners of the lighting and the ceiling, the next step would be to paint other areas, you know, within the mask skin or other areas outside of the confines, you know, of the painted corners. The next step of the process would be to take off the mask skin and, you know, the protective films around the lighting. If all of the paint work was eggshell or were painting homogeneously, I really didn't need to um, tape around, you know, the ceiling roof. But I did because I didn't want brush strokes, you know, or dripping paint, you know, sipping onto the already painted wall. And as you can see, it looks absolutely brilliant. You know, for tips on how to prep your bathroom and also how to paint, click on the link in the description. If you found the information in the video useful, don't forget to subscribe and share. It helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you in the final quadrant of the video.